Let's get stronger together with MAPS Powerlift. Hello and uh, welcome to another review. Today we are going to get stronger together with uh, MAPS Powerlift, um, another um, program from the guys from Mind Pump. Today with uh, another yeah, collaboration work um, where I work together with Ben Pollack uh, later more about this in the review. So what is MAPS Powerlift? Um, yeah, MAPS Powerlift, how the name already suggests, is uh, a powerlifting program uh, or at least uh, very close uh, to your typical powerlifting programs that you have there. It's a, a phase program. You have three different phases, an intro, a strength and a peak phase. In total, uh, MAPS Powerlift runs for 11 weeks. The first nine weeks uh, are the intro and the strength phases where you train four days a week and the last two weeks is basically the the peaking phase which uh, runs for three days a week. The program itself is uh, like so many powerlifting programs based on percentages of your 1RM. It's uh, an, a f yeah mainly a four day upper lower uh, split which means um, you have you run uh, upper uh, lower one one day and then you have a recovery day which is active recovery work in this program here and then you have another upper lower day and uh, two days off the program also includes um, specific uh, power lifting primers and post primers and uh, as just said has also two rest days and one active recovery day you will also get uh, um, a, a, a small training log template where you can write down your your progress you have a, to uh, a mapped out workout calendar gives you an idea how you could um, yeah set up your own training and it's pretty much as i said it's basically like monday uh, Tuesday is upper lower, then you have your active uh, recovery day and then another upper lower um, day uh, which leaves you uh, Saturdays and Sundays off. You also have a 1RM calculator for your percentages and also a, a rather big powerlifting masterclass with and from Ben Pollack. There you get an overall introduction in the masterclass followed by uh, yeah, detailed instructions about the big three lifts, how, how you can set up, um, what to look for, different kinds of grips for deadlifts, the commands for all the lifts. So that's pretty, pretty exciting, pretty, pretty cool. And uh, you also will get many yeah, insights, details, tips about competing in powerlifting, what kind of equipment there is, which one you can use, how to structure your training, how to prep for a competition day, uh, how to choose your weights, uh, reading the rules, uh, asking for help and all that stuff, uh, which can be yeah, good insights if you've never done it before. I personally would have liked to know a few of the things ahead of my first uh, uh, competition, but you know, uh, that's, that's how it works. So yeah, that's pretty much the outline of the program. Now let's uh, yeah dive a bit deeper into the different phases. Let's uh, talk uh, phase one, the intro phase, uh, which, uh, as I said, uh, is a four-day split. Uh, it's it's uh, three weeks long. You pretty much start. Uh, yeah, in, 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 in kind of hypertrophy ranges. So you will do, you will do, you will do sets of eight to 12 reps uh, uh, for, for your upper uh, body. Uh, and then you will quite do quite a bit of volume with supersets where you pretty much do M rep sets or uh, 20 plus reps, some uh, yeah, app work and uh, you, you will uh, use uh, different sorts of primers. So this is pretty much uh, how it will 
look like for each week uh, on any given training day, no matter uh, if it's uh, upper or lower. Basically how it's uh, the upper lower uh, splits are set up, you have one upper day is focused on your bench press, the other upper day is focused on your overhead press. And the same goes for your lower body days. You have first a focus on your squat and then more a focus on your deadlift throughout the phases. In phase two, this is basically your strength phase. It's the longest one. You run it for six weeks, so you actually have time to build up some strengths through different uh, modalities in, in terms of uh, different kinds of sets and reps. You uh, really will uh, use your percentages here, or everything based off your run RM, and pretty much run somewhere between the high 70s and high uh, 80 percentages. So that's pretty taxing, but uh, it's well mapped out. So you will build up some fatigue throughout uh, the, this phase, but you know it's all geared towards the peaking in the end which is, uh, uh, takes this into consideration. So there's really no issue there, in my opinion. So it's six weeks of four days upper lower. And then you once you build up a lot of strength, hopefully, uh, you will go into phase three, the peaking phase, which uh, yeah is um, now not your typical upper lower, but basically uh, more yeah, specialization work for the peak later on or for your competition. So um, you only lift three, di three times a day, helps you a bit with fatigue management, but also you get a bit more specific with your um, uh, different power lifts. So you will uh, do heavy triples and heavy singles pretty much leading into uh, uh, yeah, your competition phase or you actually going into a competition. So having uh, 90 to up to even 97% of your calculated one IM really lets you to see if you got stronger, uh, because by now you are, you, this should feel a bit easier than it was uh, nine weeks ago. Here again, you have besides your actual lifting routine with like squats, bench press or deadlift, bit of assistance work in form of, uh, I don't know, band pull aparts or lat pull downs, but more more importantly, you have your, your squat, bench press and deadlift primers that uh, are a, a, a small workout in and by themselves. How would such a workout primer or post primer look like? More or less, you have, well, um, it's, it's divided into really priming for your actual uh, training session and then you know some post priming to get more out of your uh, training itself so it's not completely the same stuff but close enough so the the, the primers are more to really warm up your the, the specific muscles to get some tension in there to uh, be warm to actually be able to uh, uh, use your uh, muscles uh, in, in, in a more optimal, optimal form and later on the post primers are a bit of you know stretching and uh, reconnecting with your body go through a range of motions in like you know 1990s or some other uh, uh, things like foam rolling so it's a bit more you know taking care of your body uh, after your workers and it's specific for the different um, uh, phases it's throughout your program here. So you have different ones that you can pick and choose. Uh, it's not going to take you a lot of time, probably somewhere between five and 10 minutes. So that's already the program. That's how it's pretty much mapped out. You can, I suggest you watch the masterclass quite actually at the beginning to, to, to get a better look and feel about MAPS uh, powerlift. Uh, I haven't done this specific program uh, yet, um, mainly because I uh, have I ran a, a, a program another program from Ben that he you know was in a collaboration here with my pump, which was um, which worked well for me and I enjoyed it. It's 
not the same it has similarities of course because it was also a powerlifting program it's uh, yeah ben is uh, i think he, he's doing a good job in terms of programming and sharing uh, concepts and ideas behind it so it's not just you know do my stuff and uh, uh, shut up it's really a here's what i'm doing and that's why i'm doing it that's what you can get out of it and you know learn adjust adapt so that's that's pretty cool Overall, Ben is really a strong guy. Quick look here. This is his Instagram uh, handle, PH Deadlift. Uh, I mean, this is uh, here is a bit of a throwback from quite a while ago. That's him now. He uh, recently competed in a uh, 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 um, bodybuilding competition. Let's see on the right. The guy got a lot bigger the last uh, couple of months. Can't wait to see him uh, get ready for a competition again. Should be interesting. Now a quick look to the website. As per usual, they have a specific page for it with everything they usually have. The video demonstrations, the blueprints, the money back guarantee price point is $157, the usual price point as per every uh, review so far. Keep in mind if that's too much for you, they always have it on sale every now and then. So just keep, wait until you uh, get the sale um, and uh, get a lot out of it, hopefully. So this is pretty much... Uh, the whole review. I definitely going to be running this program sooner or later. At the moment, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, taking something that has basically no competition peaking in it. So I'm running five three one, where I'm lifting heavy and get stronger throughout the lifts and throughout the time. But you know, it's a little bit less time consuming and uh, works for me at the moment. That's usually what happens, you know, you, you, not, you won't end up running the same thing over and over again. Sometimes mixing things up definitely helps, uh, which isn't the same as program hopping every few weeks. So it helps to rerun a program a few times, uh, come, uh, coming back to it every now and then. So here Maps Powerlift, it probably makes sense. Maybe you did, I don't know, Maps, Maps Anabolic and you want, uh, you know, you liked the, the the big lifts and want to get stronger in them then you really could you know progress to maps power lift just somewhat estimating your one rms and uh, they might be uh, less uh, at the beginning than you think because you have never tested you just put them in the calculator you run it once you probably get stronger you you have you kind of you know lift heavy uh, maybe even go to a competition and now have actual uh, competition 1RMs or you uh, do a mock meet and have your 1RMs from that. You Then you just restart the program, you plug in your new 1RMs, every, uh, the percentages are recalculated for you and you just rerun the program and you know, hopefully it takes off for you and you do this three, four times, two, three, four times, and uh, I'm pretty sure you will get a lot stronger. So uh, while I didn't do it yet, I will do it. I liked it uh, as I ran somewhat a similar program from Ben, as I said. That's pretty much it for, for today. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if, if you like this review or if you have any questions, if something was missing in your point of view, if you maybe ran this power lift, powerlifting program, uh, share your results for all of us. That would be cool. Besides that, uh, yeah, it would be great if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and uh, lifting and nutrition related topics to come. I really want to yeah, spread uh, the message, uh, share real content with um, yeah, like achievable results uh, that are not enhanced or fake or uh, uh, Instagram hyped, so it would be cool to have you uh, uh, part of this journey. And let me know 
If there are any requests for specific topics, I try to make this work. And until then, see you next time. Bye.